it's Gil McNeil Berkland Gardens and uh, so we've got a group of plants in front of me today and we're gonna talk about them and tell you what they are and they're they're all for sales um, this juniper here and I, this one I just is the only one I don't have the name on but it's a nice uh, juniper that would be good for bonsai especially the beginning bonsai people that uh, you might be interested at um, these group of plants are all just ten dollars so um, I'll just describe that we've got that juniper we've got a cedar deodora uh, it's called divinely blue cedrus deodora and nice bright one of the best blues you'll put in your landscape it's slow growing it'll be in 10, ten years it'll be about three feet tall and very broad at the bottom maybe four feet at the most another hinoki cypress that possibly could be a, a bonsai candidate because it, it's not grafted either is Bess and that's the name of this cultivar. Grows an inch or two a year. Uh, has an upright habit, so it's, it has that nice look this way, not just the the bun. And so that's a that's a great plant. Again, these are all just ten dollars, along with this one here, a very flat uh, juniper called Motherlode. Really gold. Um, once this gets in the ground, this color will be um, much brighter than this, and so it's a, it's a, it's a really a great plant. And then. Also, we'll add this one to the $10 uh, group. It's a ginkgo called Spring Grove. Um, and ginkgos are getting more and more popular. There's lots of cultivars of them. Spring Grove is a great one um, to have in your, in your garden. So in front of me, I've got um, a group of one gallon plants that we're gonna sell, um, offer for $29 each. I've got a nice mugo pine. There's lots of mugo pines. This is one of my favorites called Dave's Choice. And it's a very um, tight, slow growing mugo. Grows um, about an inch a year. In 10 years, it'll be 10, in 10 inches by 12 or 14 inches. So it's, uh, it's not gonna, uh, it's a very slow growing and it won't get huge in your landscape. So this pine here, used to be called Leucodermis, but now they've changed it to Heldriki. And this is Schmidtii. It's a dark green color. It's got a little bit of yellow in it right now, but this will darken up again. And uh, slow growing, mounding, 10 years. It'll be a foot and a half to two feet tall and a foot and a half wide, something like that. A nice upright habit, dark green, compact, um, great plant. So a Scotch pine, Pinus sylvestris. Um, got this one, it's called Leponicum, and it is another slow grower. It possibly could be bonsai. This one has a nice, it's grafted, has a nice graft union on it. Um, some nice branching, it's got a little bit of movement in it. Also just a, a garden tree, it would be great as a small um, pine to have in your yards. Well, I saved the best for last. This is a Cedar Silvane called Green Prince and uh, it is a 25 year old plant approximately and uh, it was discovered right here in Mount Vernon, Washington. It only grows approximately a half an inch a year so it is a great garden plant. It could be a bonsai plant but just for the garden it, um, it your eye goes right to it with these very short needles the, the windswept look that it has. I've taken a stake and uh, put it in here and I, I staked a branch up and the reason I'm doing that is I'd like this branch to continue to grow up s slowly obviously and um, And then we'll get another layer of branching going on up here. We've got this flat area It would be perfectly fine to leave this um, Branching going just horizontally like that so this could be ignored and just let that fall down or let this go up and get another layer of branching I've done some little bit of pruning on the bottom to clean it up to give it some, you know, that, that look where you want to start seeing the, the bark on the inside, but all these tiny needles are, are just highlighting the plant and I've cleaned out, cleaned out dead things and on the inside, built dead branching like that. That one I'm able just to rub off. So really uh, an outstanding plant. We're offering this plant at $250 which is a lot of money for a tree, but it's very old, very rare. And, um, and then um, shipping, like all the other things, will come on top of it. And this one will be, uh, we would, we would uh, ship and box up 
uh, quite well so that it would, it would come safely to wherever you're at. So you could also pick it up at the nursery, but um, we're happy to ship it to you as well. Anyway, be sure to like, comment, and, and do subscribe to our channel. We really do appreciate it. We'll have these plants listed below on the screen. You can email us and we'll send you a quote for the total shipping for any plants that you order. Well, thanks for joining us today here at Birkeland Gardens on this fall day. We're gonna have, uh, we've had some rain, but we're gonna have, a, it looks like we're gonna have a nice sunny weather for the next week uh, going into, into fall here. We'll uh, see you next time.